Um, man, me and Siv did like a, um, a West Coast Fire summer jam a couple years back in, uh, in San Jose. And then we connected backstage, you know, kind of we're just both kind of like staying out the way, you know, not really just seeking the spotlight or the cameras and lights and action. And we just kind of connected, like just in the back, just talking, this is brothers. And then uh, we ended up getting booked for the same New Year's show. And then like God just like knit our hearts together, man. And then he invited me on the Pray For My Hood tour and we've been rocking ever since, man. Man, it, it's crazy. Um, when we started rocking, you know what I mean? It's like we started like not just doing music together, but like I would that's when he was in sack and I would slide out the sack and we'd spend maybe three, four days, I'd stay the night over there and we'd just go hit the streets and minister, go go hit his hood or whatever. And then so the ministry just came naturally and he's like, Yo, I got a couple different tracks I want you to get on. And when he shot me about whatever, I was like, Yo, this is nice. And it brought a little something different because you know, like the little rapid fire delivery. And then we did that and then uh we did a video and that thing just kinda took off and it's still kinda going. Yeah, that's another one. Um oh, man, he just he hit me, was like, yo, I can hear you on this track, bro. And he he shot it to me with that one. To me, it was really special to me too because when I heard that I immediately felt the presence of God. Like I was riding in my truck and I felt the presence of God. And so I'm, I'm driving to my brother's house and by the time I get to his house, I have eight bars written and I'm like in tears because of what I'm writing because it's hitting a part of my heart. I get in my brother's living room, I'm like, yo, you gotta hear this. I spit the eight bars for him and like, I start crying at the end of it. The Holy Spirit manifests in my brother's living room. We end up on our knees and faces worshiping God for like 10, 15 minutes. And I'm like, yo, God's gonna really do something with this song, man.